Very welcome, ladies and gents. Naomi, executive producer Ava DuVernay, reportedly fires a Netflix showrunner for cultural insensitivity because that showrunner hired a diverse writer's room that didn't want to write for the global markets they represented. That's right. You've heard it here first, ladies and gents. That's the clan world we live in. If you want to grab your clan world merch and also support the channel, I have some amazing clan world designs, which you'll find linked underneath the video. One of one design, uh, you know, for me by my graphic designer. It's really, really funny and really cool. So grab it, be part of uh, the club. So, like I said, normally we'll ha we're here screeching from individuals saying you can't write for this because you're not part of that culture. So, this showrunner hired everyone from each culture. But they demanded that they must write for everyone. They weren't happy. This is an absolute S show. So let's dive into it because it's hilarious as always. Uh, it just goes to show the utter state of contempt that you should have for these individuals. So an unnamed showrunner working on a sequel to Roald Dahl's Matilda for Netflix was reportedly fired by Ava DuVernay for cultural insensitivity. Oh wow. Cultural insensitivity. I didn't know you could be fired for that but alright. A report from Matthew Baloney at Puck, uh, we would go to there but you have to sign up so we can't, uh, claims that DuVernay and her Array Filmworks production company was working with Netflix to create a new series based on Roald Dahl's Matilda. Great, great story, amazing film, uh, would have loved to have seen it but this sounds like trash, uh, based on what we're going to read now. So this new Matilda series would see a grown-up Matilda travelling around the world with an eight-year-old gifted black child recruiting other gifted children for their school. So they're going around the world, right? So there's different cultures. Cool. They did exactly what you'd expect them to do. The report claims that DuVernay hired an unnamed white woman to be the showrunner. Oh, it's where you're going wrong now. And create a pilot for the show with her. The showrunner then hired a diverse five-person staff with writers representing the global backgrounds of people who might be featured on the show. Oh. Oh, so, so basically what everyone screeches about happening. Cool. Oh, no, wait. No one's ever happy. However, these writers were apparently unhappy with the showrunner. Baloney claims a vocal part of the staff didn't feel like the showrunner was attuned to the cultural sensitivities required for the material. She doesn't need to be. That's why she hired you guys, the individuals that apparently represent the global backgrounds of everyone involved. I mean, that's literally what, you know, a showrunner would be doing. But wait, it gets worse. Although we also suggest that it's possible many of the writers were also not happy that they were taking orders from a white woman given they were hired to work on an Ava DuVernay project. It's not relevant, that the colour of the skin, but alright. Oh wait, it gets worse. Nevertheless, Baloney would go on to claim that some of the writers complained they were being asked to write about characters that aligned with their own personal background. These writers believed they should be writing for all of the characters. Now, I agree! But you're on an Ava DuVernay project. And you're not happy taking orders from a white woman. So why would you think you would be doing anything other than writing for people that align with your own personal backgrounds? Why would you possibly think that? What a cretin. You know, Baloney also claims some of them accused the show of featuring a white saviour narrative. Given it's a grown up Matilda recruiting a number of children to take, take to her school. Well, yeah, I mean, it's called, it's Matilda. That's the source material. What are you doing? Anyway, these complaints reportedly sparked an actual investigation by Netflix, to which Baloney claims his sources informed him didn't confirm much. Because it wouldn't, because these people are morons. They would have looked at this and gone, hold on a minute. So you've hired, you've hired, uh, hired a diverse five-person staff, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, they represent the global backgrounds of the people who might be featured. Right, okay, yeah, cool, yeah, check, 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 that's great. Sorry, what? Culture, why? Oh, white woman? DuVernay? They'd be like, no, go away. Anyway, nevertheless, despite Netflix's investigation not turning up anything, DuVernay and Paul Garns, the president of Array Film Works, fired the showrunner. Bloody reports, so the showrunner who was cleared by Netflix was nonetheless terminated. Not for cause, paid out, she signed an NDA and everything is on pause now until Array can bring in another showrunner. 
A showrunner who may or may not keep those writers who complained in the first place. Peak moron, we've reached it, ladies and gents. We've reached it. We have reached it. Now, obviously, this is all rumour at this point in time. So this report can technically be considered a rumour, of course. Uh, it's not hard to believe, given Ava DuVernay's past. Now, I completely uh, agree with that. You know, DuVernay tweeted this out. Everyone has a right to their opinion, and we, black producers with hiring power, have the right to not hire those who diminish us. So to the white men in this thread, if you don't get that job you're up for, kindly remember, bias can go both ways. This is 2020 speaking, basically saying I'm looking to exclude uh, people of white skin tone uh, because I'm biased against them, essentially. Um, yeah, I mean, for this, you know, mythical I'm being diminished. I mean, you're literally in a position of power where you can fire people, so it doesn't really make any sense, but you know, whatever. Um, and she, you know, she's long done all of this, uh, a lot actually, you know, promoted a whole bunch of stuff. But again, this is not, this stuff's not really relevant. This is just to show you that, yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, she would, uh, be the like that would do this. But I'm just looking at this like, how, how can you go so wrong? This is everything that they would have asked for, right? You know? Ava DuVernay on board. She's lead executive producer. She's running it. You know, you've got Matilda with a, you know, black child walking around the world uh, getting other people. Right? Yeah. Showrunner, director, diverse five-person staff with writers. Each representing global backgrounds of people that they're going to be writing for. But that's not fair because they're writing, you know, the white woman's taking you know, in charge, and also they're not happy because they have to write for the characters aligned with their personal backgrounds, but that's what you all screech for, you just can't win with these people, you just cannot win, you can't win laddie, you never will, you can't win, you gave them, you give them an inch, you take a mile, right, that, or you gave them an inch, they took a mile, that, this is the living definition of that phrase what a joke what a joke and if this is the current state of netflix and the people that they're working with well they're just going to go downhill remember this is something in development if if everything else in development is being handled like this then yeah the stuff coming out in the next couple of years or two years down the line will be garbage anyway let me know what you think grab your clown world merch down below of our my teespring check out some other bits and pieces we've got some cool designs cheers guys take care